here we are. We have your standard Hakai Pass 10 pound coal right here. We go ahead and fillet that one up. It's freshly caught. So you go ahead and line your fish up. Alright, so you got your coho. Go ahead and stand on a 10 like that. Take the knife, situate it about half inch behind the gill plate there, and cut straight through. Through the backbone and through the head like that. You don't need the head unless you're going to save it for crab bait. I believe we don't, so we're going to throw that overboard. Grab our bait knife. That's going to be used for slicing through the belly meat. You only want to go in about one inch, just enough to cut through the belly meat. To the front like that. See, it opens it up nicely. You can go ahead and grab the guts in one swoop and throw them overboard. It's a big hair. Being that though. And you see how that looks right there. Open up with belly, no guts inside. Now, here's the tricky part. You're going to grab your knife. And you see how I'm angling this? The base of the knife is just above the backbone right here, and the tip of the knife is angled down. So you're going to get the most meat possible. So see how it is? The base knife just over top. I'm going to cut in. And the whole while, while I'm cutting here, I have my the base of the, uh, the knife. It's pressing down hard on the backbone. It's going to ensure that I get the most meat off it. So it's cutting through like this, healing the backbone the whole way. I'm angling the tip of the knife up slightly as it goes past the fin in order to get up top of that. But the base knife the whole time is on the back. It presses through, and at the end, you just cut through. Let's get like that. Toss it overboard. And you can see I got the back one for most of it. At the very top, it's hard to get all the meat because that's right when you go in. Find the back one and go through. So you can flip the blade through. Just high like that. And this one's about the same procedure. See my knife, this time it's angling up. The tip of the knife is up, the back of the knife is back like that. And I cut through the whole time I'm feeding the backbone. I'm angling the bottom of the knife up this time, so to miss the fin. Goes above it. Feeding the backbone the whole way across. Right down to the back. And this time I'm gonna cut through the tail. Of course, fisheries require that we keep the tail on. And you see once again we have the back one all the way across like that. And uh, same on the other side. See the back one the whole way, that means you've got the most meat possible. And uh, you better fillet. Toss the back one overboard. Now what we're gonna do is get all the belly bones out. The best way to do that is with our bait knife. So you just put it in about halfway along. Notice here, you can see where the belly bones separate from the belly meat, right here. That's where we're gonna make wanna make our cut. Belly meat has a lot of fat in it, and we don't want to have that in the fillet. So it cuts through, straight shot through like that, and cut the other way as well. If you're saving the uh, belly meats like we usually do for crab for a halibut bait, just set the other side for later. We'll deal with that when we're done with the fillet. Grab our bait knife. Now the important thing with cutting out the belly bones is to go just enough underneath, so you're going to get the bones out, but you want to keep the most meat as possible. So actually, after you cut in. You're going to feel up and actually be cutting up against the bones. You can see how we see right there, you can actually see your knife cutting through the belly bones. It's just barely in there. So cut through, try and go through with one cut if you can. If your knife's sharp enough. And see how that looks there. Our belly bones are nicely out. Nice and thin, so we have the most meat. And it looks nice and smooth. We seem to have all the bones out. And uh, once we have that, we can go ahead to our fish bath. Quick wash. We're get all the blood off, as well as all the sea lice. This one seems to be pretty good. And we got our fish tray out. Go ahead and place it in like so. Let's see the sea lice there, we can get that off. And we go on to our second piece. We repeat the procedure for belly bones. It's going to cut in. Forward and back. Save that for later. And this one works easier to cut towards you, so you just turn the fillet around, grab our knife, goes in above the belly bones, and it cuts through. Just like so. One nice cut, you see it's nice and thin, you get all the bones out. And a nice fillet, you're left with nothing but the meat. Go ahead and do the same procedure. Dunk tank, all the blood off, all the sea lice. Let's do a final inspection of my fillet when I'm done. 
Sometimes you have a little bit of trimming to do. Go ahead and grab your knife, put it along the table. And you see we don't need that one part. Leave them with just the meat. Well wash. Tray. Go ahead and grab your tag. Put that on top. And to the vacuum packer. That's one fish done. Move on to the next one.